on a much more fundamental level, um, there is no hidden message or some kind of deeper wisdom. Uh, that's, this is not like, this is not an act. This is not some sort of trick or some kind of joke. Like, a long time ago, many years ago, I practiced Zen Buddhism a little bit. And um, maybe, maybe this is sort of in alignment with some of the things they teach there. I don't really exactly remember, but there really is not any, this is not like a mental intellectual thing. Like is there's really nothing to know. And um, all that we can do is accept that we don't know. It's all that we can do. This is not a message to absorb or to follow or hang your hat on. It's, this is, this is not, Whatever it is, this, whatever it is that I'm talking about, um, reality, you know, it's, there's no secret. There's, I mean, it's like, they, they like to get you all turned around in the mind where, yes, there's, there, it's, there, <laughs> It's so obvious. So it's an open secret. It's there's always so many ways of making it seem like there's something there. Makes it seem like there's like a well. Okay, I know they're saying there's nothing there, but they, but they kind of want me to think there is, or I want to believe that there is. There is actually some secret there. And when you actually listen to someone who is seen through enough of that, which I'm not necessarily that person, right? I'm just as confused as the rest of people. Um, and also on some very basic level, like there is no, um, not, it's not that it's a thing. It's not like, oh, there's no secret to be found and da, 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 da. It's actually that like, there's profoundly nothing. Like there is profoundly nothing to be sought after and there is profoundly nothing that is sacred or uh there's you know what i'm saying like that there's no Like if you believe that there is something that you're going to find, this is not supposed to be in tight. Like, okay, this is uh, the way that people, I think spiritual teachers talk. It's almost like there's, they're enticing you. Like it, there's this little, little edge or this little trick to it. And it's, there really isn't there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And, but my sense is that, um, It's very much just not something that you can, that you can, you can ever uh, make into something. You, you can't, um, you cannot like, you can't, you can't go there. You, you can't. You're, you're like, you're not part of that. Um, you're not part of it. Um, so it's really just an accepting, like, I just, okay, I don't, I don't know. Genuinely, I don't know. I really don't know. And you can be happy about it if you want. You can be joyful if you want. You can be any kind of emotion that you want to be. And at the same time, you really just got to admit that you don't know. Um, because anything else is, I feel like it's an, 
anything else is, is <laughs> what can I say? Um, It's actually, it's so um, basic. It's so, it's so profoundly like fundamental and in a certain way, it's so embodied um, because it, like it is you, that, you know, that it's like, how can you accept that? that you don't know and it, and it's and it's you, to accept the fact that it is you that is not easy that is scary i think i'm not going to tell you what it's going to feel like for you but i mean that's most of most of us find that to be very disconcerting and scary um, it can be approached again from all different emotional angles and and um But without the like material, without anything to entice us, like it's it it it's bare, and um, just naked truth that is um, it's it's not. It's not like some kind of formulation that you're going to arrive at. It's not. Um, Cause it's just yourself, you know, it's, it's, it's just you. Um, and I don't know who you are. How would I, you gotta, you know, you got to find out for yourself and no one is going to be able to tell you that, right? This is not some kind of program. It's not some kind of academic curriculum where you progress through all these levels of learning and insight. And I don't, have that experience myself and I'm sure that other people maybe do and that's just that's fine and that's one way of approaching it and I, I personally just um, I think maybe just I'm on a different track than that and that's okay um, but you just have to accept that you don't actually no and that's so painful it can be so stressful like if i actually you know it's so easy to intellectualize and think oh yeah yeah i accept it i don't know anything everything i don't know oh yeah totally i'm open-minded and then to actually not know what the heck is going on um it can be fun and can be exhilarating and also it can be just sheer madness. No, like sheer terror, like just, uh, there's no secret. There's no special anything. Of course, you know, the mind, there's always another angle. At the end of the day, no, dropping all that, whatever it is that comes up that's real. Um,
Oh. Just accepting that we don't know. And how, to me, how um, how real things get then, how the world appears so real and so potent, potent and so like it's it's very. I don't know how to how to describe that. Um, how do you describe that? You know, it's like there it is. You know, that there's this arrangement of it. Like <laughs> you know, you. you what can I say? You know, I just, <laughs> this is the posture. Like you just accept that you don't know and your hands are open. That's it. Um, that's, yeah, supplication, I suppose. Re re receiving, maybe. I don't, I don't know. That's a different I don't know when I say I, I don't know. You know. That just means I don't feel like looking at it anymore because I'm resistant or tired or whatever. But what I'm talking about, accepting that you don't know, that's different. That's not like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is, that's, a, that's a different. Uh, accepting that you don't know is like... Yeah. Anyway, I think I've said enough about that. More than enough about that. So, good night. Uh.